Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to warn you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. Mind you, wouldn't believe that if you saw the scenes from the stands. Come rain or shine, the supporters here sing in unison and very evidently they are up for it. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. And already we're underway here. Danger averted for now. Arboleda sends it forward. That's going to go a long way. Are clearly looking to use the space at the flanks here. With a view to, to what exactly, Jim? Well, it can encourage the fullbacks to get involved and increase their chances of more service into the box. A Serbi. Fascioli. Yeah, the crowd have tried to spark some excitement, but to no avail. This needs something explosive. Played back to the goalkeeper. Mancini. And it's played forward. Di Marco. To Barella. And it's Jorginho. certainly could have and should have made more of that. Chiesa. A Serbi. Di Marco, Chiesa, Jorginho, and it's Berardi, swung over, and he's got his cross in, and that should be the keepers. the whistle for half-time but it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel their overdue a goal but it's certainly not for the want of trying so nothing to show as yet at the break it's nil-nil some first half thoughts well they've never really been threatened in the first half i think it's been a magnificent team effort the work rate has been superb very very organized an intriguing half lacking only in goals the score nil-nil Already up and running for the second half. Italy can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Chiesa. Oh, it's come loose. Gets a good foot in there. The referee's awarded a free kick. That's a half decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Jorginho. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Forwards and with intent. And Fagioli. Di Lorenzo played towards the other side. In 
Kapuye. Played back in. Ecuador finding their passes. Fasciol. Di Lorenzo. And it's Berardi. Di Lorenzo gets his pass away. Oh, played through for the white man. Well, the crowd's impatience is an indicator that they haven't quite given up on a goal just yet. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Ecuador can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Barella played out to the left flank. Barella. Barella. And that's that. 